It's John from JohnnyOctave.com, and I'm going to pass along a short, quick little blues lick for you guys. I've put it in B flat, and it's super simple. It's just uh, another little something that you guys, a little nugget that you guys can put into your playing. So uh, I'm going to get just a little closer and show you guys what's happening. All right, everybody. So um, what's going on here? Real easy, real short. Um, I'm in B flat, okay. Um, and what I'm doing is uh, I'm starting on the sixth fret on the G string, okay. And I'm picking once, and then I'm hammering on to the eighth fret on the G string, and then the ninth fret on the G string to make that little blues sound happen, okay. Minor blues. familiar, you're slamming your finger down on the string <laughs> to, to make that uh, the, no, the note sound, just like that, okay? And then what I do is I reach over to the B string on the 6th fret, and I do an upstroke on that, uh, on that note. So you've got this. Okay? And then I come back down and pick on the 9th fret G string pull those notes off that we uh, started with, those three notes. At the ninth fret, I pull off from my pinky to my third finger at the eighth fret, and then from my third finger to my first finger at the sixth fret. So that's this. Okay. Just like that. And then I end that on the B flat on the D string. So that's the D string on the fourth string, eighth fret, okay? And give it a little give it a little love there, a little vibrato. Okay? Now that works good for just one one little pass, you know, you could just throw that in. Or and you guys can play that at any tempo you want. It doesn't have to be super quick. I mean, it worked just great just at that tempo. But you could use it as a repeating lick too if you wanted. If you got really good at it, okay, you could just repeat it over, and it would be a really cool uh, repeating lick. So you guys have fun with that. Yeah, I know it's short, but uh, nonetheless cool. And I'll see you guys next time.